Welcome guys to my new video. This is the part 2 of the iPhone video. My dear technician, before you watch this part 2 of this video, I recommend you watch the part 1 of this video. My dear technician, the next thing here is for me to test the battery. I need to test the battery to know the actual voltage that is inside this battery. So let me test the battery now. Make sure you shift this to where we have 20 volt. Keep it at 20 volt. Okay, the next thing is for me to test the battery. So let me test the battery now. Let me test it now. Okay, let's see the voltage. Right here you can see we have 3.6, 3.7. Okay, this is 3.7. This is 3.7. With this voltage 3.7, this phone can still power on. So let me put the battery in the phone and try if it's going to work, if not working, I'm going to remove the heating and start real troubleshooting because I want to make sure I find the problem. I want to make sure I solve the problem of this phone. I want the owner of this phone to be very, very happy to see this phone working. So let me try. If I try and it's not working, I'm going to remove the heating, then check other component. My dear technician, I said something before that iPhone is not hard to repair right iphone is very simple to repair when you know what you're doing right there's nothing really different from android and button phone from iphone they are the same thing capacitor in iphone capacitor in button phone diode in iphone diode in button phone right i see in button phone i see in iphone right the only small difference is that iphone component is a little bit smaller than the button phone and android phone that is the only thing and apple make their panels to be very small they packed everything inside and they make the panel so small right so that is the only thing i see in iphone that is different from android my dear technician i want to say something very important a lot of people believe that without having working tools you cannot work iphone for me is no 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 but there are some tools you need for you to be able to work the iphone especially you need multimeter you need microscope if you don't have microscope you can use your phone if you have iphone good you can use your iphone as a microscope then the next thing is your hot air machine if you have hot air machine stainless steel reboiling pairs and some other tools like that which are not costly you're good to go it's not going to have a big, big uh, work tools, big, big working tools that cost a lot of money before you can work iPhone. My dear technician, one of my customers brought LB8 for me to bypass AVAP. Back then, I did not have laptop. So I find alternative. The alternative was for me to remove the AVAP just with my hands. So that is what we call knowledge. The only difference from finding alternative is that it's going to delay, but with the tools, you're going to do it very fast. Okay, take for example, I had a laptop back then. I will use my laptop to bypass the AVAP just with one click and everything is done. My dear technician, I'm done with fixing of the screen. So let me fix the battery now and test it. If I test it, I click it and it's not working. I'm going to remove the heat zinc and check what really is the problem. If it is IC, I'm going to change it. My reboiling tools is here with me. My hot air machine is here with me. In case it's not working, I will start troubleshooting to find out to figure out which IC is the problem. After finding out, I remove it, I change it, and it's going to work. Guys, let me see if the phone is going to on. Even though after owning is heating up, I will know what to do. I don't know what to do guys let me try if not working let me start troubleshooting immediately guys check this out it works it works guys check this out anyway it's shocking me because i just hit the panel my dear technician let me just explain this thing so that you will understand since the owner told me that the phone fell down if you check the screen very well you see that the touch pad is broken right yes this is because the phone fell down according to what she told me you may ask Farajo, what causes the phone to stop owning? And now that you have hit the panel, you have hit the IC, some component 
on the phone board now the phone is on what causes the problem okay let me answer it for you when phone fell down some component on the phone board especially ic capacitors diode and other component or the socket the battery socket or the screen socket all those connectors they can have issues because the phone fell down and hit up heavily on the ground so this can cause all of these components the connectors to have issues right my dear technicians i recommend the first thing is for you to use your multimeter to test the vbat if the reading give you 600 700 or 500 and something just know that the phone will be consuming battery that something is wrong on the phone panel could be capacitor diet or ic itself something is wrong i recommend you should use your multimeter to test the component especially the capacitors especially the capacitors take your time to test the capacitors one by one for me when phone have this kind of issue is not booting and some engineers have tried working on it it's not still working i used to tell my customer please you give me like one day which is 24 hours or two days for me to take time to troubleshoot and find the issue then fix it for you right because there's nothing like rushing here i don't want to rush any phone i don't use to rush so i take my time to troubleshoot to find out then i will fix the issue for you right my dead technician the next thing now is for me to clean all the dates i need to clean all the dates and make sure this panel right here is clean i need to remove all this old gum so without time wasted let me start to do that immediately my dead technician i'm done check this out i'm done now the panel is very clean i clean around all the old gum i take my time to clean it check this out check this out very clean because i want my customer to enjoy this phone i don't want this phone to have any issue i want my customer to enjoy this phone so that my customer will give me another customer i need plenty customer i need plenty customer check this out so let me fix everything without time wasted let me fix it my dear technician you have to be very very careful during this process Check this out. Take your time to fix the panel very, very well. Fix the panel. Connect all connectors. Make sure you do not forget anything. So take your time to do this. Please make sure you fix everything that you're supposed to fix. Take time to do this. You don't need to rush. So this is the cable. That uh, I don't know who caught this. Anyway, let me just put the cable here. Let it be like that. Since I don't have the cable, I would have changed it, but I don't have it now. Anyway, the phone will still work. So let me put all the bolts. My dear technician, please take your time to do this. Do not rush. Please take time to do this. Make sure you connect everything that you need to connect. The next thing now is for me to put the camera. So check this out. It's very simple. Check this out. Let me put the camera now. Take your time to do this, please. Be very, very careful. Make sure you fix everything that you need to fix. Fix it, put all the bolt. Take time to do this, please. Take your time to do this. Please do not rush, take time to do this. If you have any question, feel free to ask me in the comment section if you have. Any question, please ask me in the comment section if you have. The next thing now is for me to connect the cable. Check this out. Take your time to do this. Be very, very careful. Take time to do the next thing. Is the connector. Please take time to do this because any mistake, you can even spoil the connector. So take time to do it. Now, let me fix the battery. My dear technician, since I don't have the gum for this battery, so I'm going to use this one. It's not still bad. Still going to work very well. Then the next thing is for you to put gum around. This will prevent dust, especially dust, not water, not to enter the phone because I don't want dust to enter this phone, right? So that's why I'm doing this so that my customer will enjoy this phone. So I take my time to work out this phone because I want my customer to enjoy this phone. And that's it so let me fix the battery now check this out the next thing is for me to allow this to be for like um 20 minutes yes 20 minutes okay so let me start cleaning 
need to clean in case there is dust, especially doors or sand. So I take my time to clean and after that I start fixing. So my dear technician, take time to do this. You don't need to rush. Take time to plug the socket very well. Plug everything very well. Take your time to do this. You don't need to rush. Make sure you check the inside very well. Make sure you fix all the bolts. Fix it very well. Take your time to do Please this. Please make sure you fix everything that you need to fix. What I notice in this phone is that the bolt in this phone is not complete. The bolt is not complete. I don't know who opened the phone before. The person did not put complete bolt. I don't have any extra bolt now. I would have put. But anyway, it's fine. So let me clean everything. You can see, I take my time to do this. Take my time to do this. My dear technician, take time to clean the inside very, very well. The next thing is for you to couple it. Couple it. Take time to do this. Couple it very, very well. Press it very well. Press it very well. Take your time to do this. Make sure you clean the extra gum around. Take your time to do this. Clean the extra gum around. Take time to do this, my dear technician. Take time to do this. Take time to do this. The next thing now is for me to put on the phone. Check this out. It works. Check this out. It works. Let me wait for the phone to finish booting. Check this out. It works. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section if you have. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye for now. Love you.